Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Beyond measure. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Only last week I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean I make medicine sick. I'm gonna show you how great I am. This kid's gonna be the best kid in the world. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. I'm gonna show you how great I am. I have rousted with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. I'm gonna show you how great I am. All of you chumps are gonna bow when I whip him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you got to go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to someone, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut, it ain't nobody's right to say no. After you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. Now if you know what you're worth, then you want to get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hit. And not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure.
hurts your little sissy ass feelings, makes you want to cry. Don't look for a pat on the back from me, motherfucker, because I don't have one for you. I don't empathize with you one fucking bit. I don't feel sorry for you. If you can't take it, get the fuck on. I don't need you. Fuck you. You don't like that? Boo hoo, motherfucker, boo hoo. Go cry in your cornflakes. Eat another twink. Undo your belt so your fucking ass stomach can fall out on the floor, bitch. Cry some more tears. Two tears in a motherfucking bucket. Fuck it. You don't like me? I won't lose no sleep over you. Motherfuck you. sensitive ass bitches. You have no excuses. So no matter what, the nosebleed, it's that time of the month, the kids are crying, you don't feel like it, you're a bad person, you got aches and pain, it's still your motherfucking set. Let's get it done.
scared to death. I'm totally afraid. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of being humiliated. But I'm totally confident. The closer I get to the ring, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. The closer I get to the ring, I'm more confident. Once I'm in the ring, I'm a god. No one can beat me. I walk around the ring, but I never, I never take my eyes off my opponent. I keep my eyes on him, even if he's ready and pumping. He can't wait to get his hands on me as well. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. I keep my eyes on him. We fight for that itch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. We claw with our fingernails for that itch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. It's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that inch. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that inch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now, I can't make you do it. You got to look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now, I think you're going to see a guy who will go that inch with you. Oh, yeah. You're gonna see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the same for him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a team, gentlemen. Oh, yeah. And either we heal now as a team or we will die.
I didn't want to just be a bodybuilding champion, I wanted to be the best bodybuilder of all times. Dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Not what, but who. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy. You have to think outside the box, that's what I believe after all. What is the point of being on this earth? If all you want to do is be liked by everyone and avoid the trouble. We have so many rules in life about everything. I say break the rules, not the law, but break the rules. I remember that after I was finished with my bodybuilding career, I wanted to get into acting. I wanted to be a, a star in films. Everyone had the same mind that it can't be done. Just look at your body. You have this huge, monstrous body, it's overly developed. that doesn't fit into the movies. But, uh, you know, I didn't listen to all this. This were their rules. I was convinced I could do it. And then I got the big break in Conan the Barbarian. Trust yourself no matter how, what anyone else thinks. And there the director said, if we wouldn't have Schwarzenegger, we would have to build one. Then when I did Terminator, I'll be back. One of the most famous lines in the movie history, all because of my crazy accent. It just shows you never listen that you can't do something. Don't be afraid to fail. Anything I've ever attempted, I was always willing to fail.
don't be afraid of making decisions. You can't be paralyzed by fear or failure, or you would never push yourself. You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. And you know that it's the right thing to do. Success will come, so don't be afraid to fail. I mean, how many times have you heard that you can't do this, and you can't do that, and it's never been done before? So pay no attention to the people that say it can't be done. If I would have listened to the naysayers, I would still be in the Austrian Alps yodeling. I would never have come to America. I always listened to myself and said, yes, you can. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. Work your butt off. If I always believe leaving no stone unturned. No pain, no gain. When you're out there partying, bossing around, someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. Just remember that. ladder of success with your hands in the pocket.
ready to wash it away. All you have to do is pick up your feet. But you aren't going to, are you? With each step comes the decision to take another. You're on your way now, but this is no time to dwell on how far you've come. You're in a fight against an opponent you can't see, but oh, you can feel him on your heels, can't you? Feel him breathing down your neck. You know what that is? That's you. Your fears, your doubts, and insecurities all lined up like a firing squad, ready to shoot you out of the sky. But don't lose heart. While they're not easily defeated, they are far from invincible. Remember, this is the grind, the battle royale between you and your mind, your body, and the devil on your shoulders telling you that this is just a game. This is just a waste of time. Your opponents are stronger than you. Drown out the voice of uncertainty with the sound of your own heartbeat. Burn away your self-doubt with a fire lit beneath you. Remember what we're fighting for and never forget that momentum is a cruel mistress. She can turn on a dime with the smallest mistake. She is ever searching for the weak place in your armor, that one tiny thing you forgot to prepare for. So as long as the devil is hiding the details, the question remains, is that all you got? Are you sure? And when the answer is yes, when you've done all you can to prepare yourself for battle, then it's time to go forth and boldly face your enemy, the enemy within. Only now you must take that fight into the open, into hostile territory. You're a lion in a field of lions, all hunting the same elusive prey with a desperate starvation that says victory is the only thing that can keep you alive. So believe that voice that says you can run a little faster and you can throw a little harder and that for you, the laws of physics are merely a suggestion. Luck is the last dying wish of those who want to believe that winning can happen by accident. Sweat, on the other hand, is for those who know it's a choice. So decide now, because destiny waits for no man. And when your time comes and a thousand different voices are trying to tell you you're not ready for it, listen instead to that lone voice of dissent. The one that says you are ready, you are prepared, it's all up to you now. So rise and shine. something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Talent you have naturally, skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. You see, I will try 100 times to get up, and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. You changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. What did you say to the kid? It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit. And keep moving forward. How much you can take. And keep moving forward. I'm motivated by fear. 
All of you chumps are gonna bow when I whoop him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. That's gonna make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win that itch. And I know if I'm gonna have any life in it, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. While the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. Trust yourself, break some moves, don't be afraid to fail. More than they say is, work like hell, and give something.